During World War II, my dad worked in the Brooklyn Navy Yard in New York. And after the war ended, his supervisor came to him one day and he said, you know, the government's looking for people to go overseas to work. You ought to look into that. And my dad just went, no, just ignored him. And sometime later, the guy came to him again one day and said, you ought to look at the bulletin board. Really, this is a great opportunity. They want people to go work for the government in Germany. And let me tell you, my family's Italian. I know that. And you love to travel. You'd be great. And my dad blew him off again because he wasn't interested. Well, some time passed, probably a few months, and this guy came to him again and says, look, Hall, let me give you some advice. You're in a dead-end job here at the Navy Yard. You're a Negro, and there is nowhere for you to go except for one job, and that one's my job, and I'm not going anywhere. So I'm telling you, you need to look into this job with the government. Well, my dad had this three-thing rule that if you hear something once, you can ignore it. You hear it twice, eh, well, forget it if you want to. But if you hear something three times, you better pay attention. So he went and he checked it out. And that's how my dad wound up becoming a DOD civilian stationed in Frankfurt, Germany after World War II. The only thing was he couldn't take his wife or his son with him. So he had to go alone and he lived in segregated BOQs with another Negro. And eventually he figured out a way to sneak my mom into the country with their son, except that there were no high schools at the time for my brother to attend. So he wound up having to go to school in Strasbourg, which is why my brother became fluent in French. And then after a few years, I was born. And when I was born, my parents had a German housekeeper and she was an elderly lady and she made an announcement. She said, Ich bin zu alt Englisch zu lernen, der Junge muss Deutsch lernen. I'm too old to learn English, the boy's gonna learn German. That was it. So she spoke German to me, my dad learned German, and then after my parents split up, German was the only thing we spoke at home, so German became my native language. In fact, I didn't really learn to speak English until we moved into base housing when I was five and I went to elementary school and was surrounded by American kids. So then we spent 17 years in Germany. And around the time I was going to graduate from high school, I had never lived in the United States, so I didn't know anything about going to college in the States. I knew I wanted to go. I didn't know where. I didn't know anything about the process. So I started looking around and I looked at Arizona State. I looked at Colorado. And then my cousin came to me one day. He was in the Air Force. And he says, you know, you ought to look at this one school in New Mexico. It's a small school but I was stationed near there and you might like it. I thought, yeah, right, New Mexico, okay? New Mexico's a desert. They have cactus and tumbleweeds. I'm not going to New Mexico. But Arizona State never got back to me. Colorado sent me this brochure with the biggest snow drifts on it that I have ever seen in my life. And then I got this catalog from this little school in New Mexico with the beautiful sunny picture of the Oregon Mountains. And I had already decided that since I was going to be in the band, I did not want to be in a marching band that had to march in the snow. I'd already done that. So that's why, how I wound up going to New Mexico State and becoming an Aggie. Sorry, Lobos, I know you're in Albuquerque, but go Aggies. Um, I went to New Mexico State. I majored in theater education. I was recruited to teach in San Diego, which I did. And that's also why I started my professional acting career. And then eventually I migrated to Los Angeles to pursue my acting career. And I also wound up teaching theater at Beverly Hills High School. Now I'm retired. I am a professional actor. I'm also direct, a professional director. And I am assisted by my wife, Donna who, by the way, is an Air Force brat and who I met in my senior year in high school. So that's my story. Frankfurt Elementary School number one, Frankfurt American Junior High, Munich American High School, 
Frankfurt American High School. I'm Herb Hall, and I'm a brat.